So I came across this really interesting quote the other day that said, if you continue to wait for the right time, you'll sit around, waste your entire life, and nothing will ever happen. Because the right time never comes. You know, there's never a perfect time to do something. There's always a million reasons not to do something. So you can't let them stop you. You gotta seize the day. You gotta create your own opportunities for yourself because nobody else is gonna do that for you. So th this has nothing to do with anything, but just <laughs> something I wanted to kind of share right off the bat at the beginning of this video here to hopefully inspire you guys. Anyways, we are here in Portland right now. We just finished playing our show tonight here at the uh, Moto Center, I believe it's called. An honor to play here. This is actually where the Portland Trail Blazers NBA team plays. So, you know, pretty sweet to play in these types of rooms. And actually, the Trail Blazers had a game here last night in this very place. And I actually came to the game because we were in Portland a day early. I came to watch. It was my first time seeing an NBA game. I was sitting in these very seats and they were playing down there. And then tonight, we got to do our own show here in the arena. So, that's pretty cool. Anyways, since we're approaching the end of the tour, we have one show left. Just wanted to make a video sharing some of my favorite memories from the tour, some of my tour highlights. So, here they are. All right, so first tour story of the day. So, this was actually early on in the tour when we played at When We Were Young Festival in Las Vegas. Now, to back up a second here, when I was a kid, before I ever even started playing guitar, before I had any aspirations of playing music professionally or anything like that. I was a big fan of the TV show Chris Angel Mind Freak, which if you're unfamiliar is a show about a magician named Chris Angel and he does extraordinary magic and stunts and I love the show. And anyways, now Chris Angel has a residency in Las Vegas. So when we were in Vegas playing at Winter Young Festival, I had to take the chance to venture out and check out his show. And I went to watch him. It was incredible. My mind was blown. And the most amazing thing happened when I was there. So, watch the show. I guess word had gotten out that I was at the show somehow. And at the very end of the show, Chris Angel came back out on stage for one final bow. Now this is a packed full theater. It's like 1,200 people in there, I think. And Chris Angel just like, thanks for coming everybody. Final bow, and he's like, I just wanna say hi to some special guests we have in the crowd here. We've got Lonnie from Black Veil Brides at the show tonight. And all the spotlights went on me. Everybody in the whole theater turned towards me. And this was so unexpected and I was just like, whoa. And it's like, what do you do in that case? So I just put my hand up and I smiled and I was like, yep, thanks. I don't know what to do. I was not expecting that at all. It was pretty neat, um, man, you know. And even then, Chris Angel was like, and we also have Shavo here from System of a Down, who's a really famous band. So it was amazing to be called out in the company of somebody like that. And then uh, his, Chris's security came and escorted us backstage into Chris's dressing room and we got to meet him and chat for a bit back there. And that was so cool. Um, it was just one of those moments of like, you know, my kid self would just be so pumped to knowing that would happen. So yeah, stuff like that does not happen every day, so when it does, it's nice to uh, enjoy it. All right, so here was something else, and this actually happened just today, actually, in the venue here. Uh, there was a gentleman working here, in, involved in the show in some capacity. I can't remember exactly what he was doing, but he was involved in book in booking or something like that. Very nice guy. Came up to me and introduced himself and just said like, hey, Lonnie, I'm a big fan of the YouTube channel. I love the videos you make and the way you approach things and, you know, share your time on the road and I really love what you do. And this was just a guy I'd never met before and it was just so cool to hear him say that. And actually this type of thing has been happening more and more frequently lately you know when we've been playing at music festivals I've had other musicians at the festivals come up to me and say they like the channel and just you know strangers who have never met come up and say that it's so cool because you know it's not like this is a, a massive channel yet or we're getting like 
hundreds of thousands of views blowing up the internet or anything. That's definitely not the case. But it is nice to know that the videos are reaching a few people, at least. And, you know, it's really nice to get that kind of feedback out in the real world. So, yeah, that was pretty awesome. All right, here's another one. So this was pretty cool. So in Baltimore, our show in Baltimore, now I'm a big fan of the Baltimore Orioles baseball team. That's my team. So anyways, when we were playing our show in Baltimore, I wore my uh, Baltimore Orioles baseball jersey during the entire show underneath my leather jacket. Cause I was like, man, I'm in Baltimore, gotta support the team. And in the audience, there was a guy at the very back of the arena wearing a Baltimore Orioles t-shirt. And I stood on the riser, in the middle of the song, I pointed at him, we locked eyes and uh, just we kind of shared a moment of both being Orioles fans and he had the biggest smile on his face during that moment and uh, then and as a result I also had the biggest smile on my face so you know it was just cool to share that moment with a fellow Orioles fan uh, tour highlight for sure <laughs> And one more cool thing that happened recently, which I, I thought this was really neat. So it came to my attention that there was a photography awards ceremony recently called the British Photography Awards. And a very talented photographer named Matt Higgs took a photo of me at one of our shows recently. And the photo won an award at the, at the photography awards, which uh, from what I understand is quite a prestigious award uh, ceremony, you know, in the world of photography. And it's, it's pretty cool, you know, and, and yeah, it's not like I took the photo, but it's, it's cool to be a part of it in the way that I was the guy in the photo. And I mean, yeah, honestly, what an incredible photograph. I mean, check it out. So congrats to Matt Higgs on winning that. And yeah, I'm just, I'm honored to be the subject of an award-winning photo. So yeah, those are some of my highlights of the tour. Things out of the ordinary, I guess, that you wouldn't expect. Of course, the highlights are playing the shows and getting to play in places like this. I mean, yeah, come on, you know, so cool. But yeah, it's been a really fun tour. It'll be eight weeks tomorrow since I've been home and we got one show left. We're playing in Seattle tomorrow night. That'll be the, the final show of the tour for the year. And then we got a uh, little bit of time off, but we're back out in February in the United Kingdom next year. So that'll be good. Uh, really looking forward to that. So hey, I hope you enjoyed the quick video here. Be sure to subscribe if you like this kind of stuff. If you wanna see more behind the scenes tour content. Gonna go crawl into the tour bus now and drive to Seattle. So we'll see you next time.